Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another awesome After Effects Tutorials. Today we're gonna take a look at this script. This script is called the AE3D Export Script. It allows us to export a tracking data, camera tracking data from Adobe After Effects straight to your 3D program like Maya, 3ds Max, or Lightwave. Like you see in this example, we have integrated a CG object live without using any third party program like Synth ISPF Track and Fuju straight from AE to 3ds Max, which is very cool. Okay, so after you have downloaded the files, you have to extract it, like right click and then hit extract here using WinRAR or you can use ZZIP and extract here and then you need to extract uh, copy it the script to your scripts folder in Adobe which will be in your local drive program files Adobe Adobe After Effects your version support files and scripts folder as you can see I have it right here AE 3D export and then in your Adobe program make sure in your preferences edit preferences in the general tab you have allow scripts to write files and access network checked okay so let's import our footage to our project and then grab it and put it to a new comp okay and then right away let's track it using the track camera and right away it will um, analyze the footage if you want you can go to advance and check this detailed analysis but for me right now I will not since this is a free tutorial and this is about three minutes so we can wait and maybe um, I'll pause the video okay right now it's finished okay so here we can see some dots in our screen and we can use these dots to tell us the orientation of our camera so if we can just let me see zoom in and make sure we can grab the green ones let's just you know grab this plane here then right click and create null and camera so now if you look at that null we have a in perfectly in that space let's select our layer again and our camera tracker let's create another one maybe here alright create a null and maybe one more from here that's good and one last one for good measure let's see let's find a better spot here I think this is the best one right right here let's grab this is the wrong one so I think it should be just here should be reliable create null so make sure when you create your nulls it's in the same plane the plane that you will be using to generate your CG object to that surface so right here I have this um, nulls flat on this surface and this will be the reference and I'll keep that in mind when we transfer it to 3ds max okay so that having that um, selected we should select this by the way and then go to file and run the script file and then run the AE3D export or you can do the fast way using the scripts and 
AE 3D export script. Okay, and I'm going to export it to 3ds Max. So I'll select 3ds Max, and then let's change this to a cool name like Stool because this is Tool. And then before I hit export, let me just hit the options and make sure this is one to one, so that everything is in the right world scale, one is to one ratio. And make sure to select the camera and the nulls you want to export and hit export and that's going to process it in the background and then it will export it directly to your desktop okay now in our desktop we can see that it is created the script is here all we need to do is to click and drag it to our 3ds max program and then release then we need to select all of it control a and then group doesn't matter what name and then from then on we can adjust this in the space so let's just uh, make sure everything is in the middle of our frame as you can see right here and then uh, let me see let, we need to rotate this and um, we can see that the camera is pointing the wrong direction so we need to rotate this let's click this snap angle snap and then rotate it and then just position it in this space uh, we need to position this null these are our nulls in parallel to our grid so right here in the middle okay so let me see here on top we need to push it here maybe so it should be in the middle of our grid so let's remove this angle snap toggle and then rotate this so that everything let's out W to maximize this viewport and then we need to make sure it's as perfect as whoa, perfect as we can okay I think we just uh, not enough let's just rotate it in the right axis which is the yellow one okay some more ah, this is so hard okay it should do it hopefully and also in our front view make sure everything is level I think that's uh, that's almost 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 I'm hitting alt W by the way and then um, the key here is we need to place this nulls in the middle because as I've experimented these nulls their anchor points are actually in the middle of the their boxes so actually it should be in the middle of the grid like so not on top or below if you do that your CG objects will seem to float and not stick on the plane or the ground or in this case our stool remember that this is our stool. let me show you um let's go to configure viewports and go to background and use files animate the background and files go to our desktop which we have let's search for our sequence i've created a sequence by the way of this tool background let's hit um it should be sequence oh open and frame one start frame two um yeah okay and hit okay so now this should be let's um hit our perspective and press c so that it will go to our camera and when we scrub our timeline you can see that the nulls are actually sticking on that plane so 
so we need to configure our our grid correctly so let's um, rotate this on the top view and make sure in our um, timeline we are in frame zero always frame zero do not ever move or rotate anything the world anywhere but zero because it will create a new frame and you'll be messed up so go back to frame zero and then adjust it as such make sure we are aligning the X in parallel to the grid as much as we can I'm trying my best okay and then we need to drag this also so that it will be in the middle of this tool like so then if we scrub through it should be at the center scrub through it should be in the center and then I'll leave it to you guys to try to you know align it yourselves but right now I think mine is good almost almost perfect okay now we can put our CG objects in the scene by creating a plane and this is the essential part let me show you why this is important create a plane and then here in the edit tab we can actually resize that but for now let's make our world perfectly aligned to our grid and you can see the importance of this is when we create our CG objects it did. by default when you create a uh, an object it is aligned to the grid just like when we did with our plane right when we created a plane here in this space it created it aligned to the the x-axis so that's how important it is that's why we need to align our nulls to the grid perfectly and how do we do that and this is the one of the most essential parts of this actually let me show you what we're going to do is we're going to select our plane and then hit align tool and align it with our null so that we can align our plane perfectly to the center of this box because as I've said earlier the um, the what's this the pivot point of this null object is in the middle but we cannot see that we do not know how to measure this box so what we can do is use the align tool to do that for us so first let us click the nulls the group but instead of doing the ungroup let us open the group now we can select each items I'm going to choose this null here and then click the plane and then hit the align tool and then click and drag from the plane to the null object let me see alright and then it will ask us what they want to align and then let's just hit OK and you can see something happened you might not notice but actually something happened you can see here that the plane moved downwards a little bit that's because the position of the plane was copied from the position of this null actually let's um, click the null object and then hit close again so that it will not move in the wrong way now what we're going to do is to click the plane and click the null or the group and then hit the move tool and then let us actually move everything to the plane now everything is aligned that's how you do it correctly now we can actually um, do anything we want let's um, we can remove the plane for example and then let's just create our teapot and then put it right here and there you go it's aligned when you look at it let's just right click and then hide this for now or yeah hide this hide how do we hide hide selection now you can see here that you look at the bottom of the teapot and then move it here 
it doesn't move anywhere else it doesn't float it doesn't doesn't seem like it's beneath or it's not flying it's perfectly there because when we created it it's perfectly aligned to the grid and to the mouse that's how you do it now you can render it and then that's how you do it now to do the next thing like this the one I did in the example you just follow me in the next tutorial so that's how you align it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial